Hello and welcome to this couple of minutes long video, just very quickly and briefly explaining what this is here. This kit I got from icstation.com. Now if you have a look at this you can use it with the Arduino board. Also you could use it with the Raspberry Pi board and many other um, micro controllers. You can pick this up from icstation.com. And I'll show you the listing now, and I will leave a link, uh, description, link in the description if you have a look at this. 433 MHZ RF transmitter and receiver kit for Arduino project, $1.28. That's a picture of it there. And as you can see, matches up with this. But yeah, this is part one in the series of two videos. But first I'm just going to explain a little bit about it, explain what it is and then you can see if you want to buy it or not. And in the second I'm going to do a project to show you an example of how it works. And hopefully that will be useful. Right. I'm going to go through some of the technical specifications of the TX. The product model is the MX-05B. The operating voltage is 5 volts. The receiving frequency is 433.92 MHZ. The sensitivity is minus 105 dB. And the external antenna, as you can see now, is 32 centimeters, and it's a single core wire that, as you can see, is wound into a spiral. Now we're looking at the transmitter head. It's called the MX-FS-03V. The launch distance is 20 to 200 metres, and if you use a different voltage, you are going to get slightly different results. So if you've got a long-range project, you will want to be making sure you are being careful with the amount of volts you're using and whether that's affecting it or not, because the operating voltage is 3.5 to 12 volts. So, you know, you've got quite a lot of leeway in the operating voltage there. The operating mode is AM, the transfer rate is 4 kilobytes a second, the receiving power is 10 MW, the frequency, the transmitting frequency is 433 m and then the external antenna is 25 centimetres, ordinary multi-core or single core line. And if you look at the pinout from left to right, it's data, VCC, ground. Now let's just, I'm just going to very quickly explain the types of things you could use this for. Now this is great for projects where you've got something that's controlled remotely, such as a remote control car, um, an electric gate opener, a garage door opener, um, anti-theft for automobiles, home security, stuff like that, remote control switch, I have to set electric doors or windows, remote, con remote volume gate, door closing device, anything like that, this is great for. Next video I'm going to be explaining a little bit more about this and doing a project. Thanks for watching.